It's not just any ordinary pig skin, it's the famous nine layer cake from Fujian. As soon as it's cooked, it gets quickly snapped up. This delicacy is a Chinese specialty pastry from the coastal areas, hence its name, nine layer cake. In ancient times, it was made with wine, hence often associated with the meaning of luck. What I'm making now is the nine layer cake made with brown sugar. Rice is ground into a slurry, then water is added to make a relatively thin rice slurry. The brown part is mixed with brown sugar, giving it a color similar to chocolate. The production of this dish is not difficult, but it's somewhat troublesome. Many households actually make it. First, the brown rice slurry is steamed until cooked, then the white rice slurry is steamed and the brown slurry is added. This process is repeated several times, and each time it's steamed for 7 minutes. The goal is to let the rice slurry set without overcooking it, as otherwise, the two layers won't merge and they'll separate later. After repeating this process several times, it's steamed for 10 minutes before it's ready to be served. The slurry has already been seasoned, leaning towards a sweet taste. We usually eat it as a dessert, it's good whether eaten warm or cold, but it's especially delicious when it's fresh out of the steamer. As soon as it's cooked, people start queuing up. It's divided according to everyone's needs, and if there's excess, you'll have to wait for the next batch. The cold light layer of cake has a deeper color, resembling braised pigskin. It's quite satisfying to cut into, although this time it's not actually nine layers. We usually only make it during festivals, and everyone uses it for offerings. The entire cake has distinct layers, is fragrant, and looks quite beautiful. It feels a bit nostalgic to the touch. The shop has been selling this pastry for over 10 years. Just to earn a hard-earned income, the profit margin isn't actually high. When removing the plastic film from the surface, you can just use a wooden stick. Looking at the amount cooked in one pot, this thing is particularly heavy. Even a small piece weighs over half a kilogram. Usually, one piece is enough for an average person, and eight pieces aren't too expensive. If someone who hasn't tried it before were to taste it, they'd likely think it's some kind of meat dish. The taste is lightly sweet with a fragrance of rice and a hint of milk. Its sticky texture makes it irresistible. 